Dorothy here, welcome to my kitchen. Today we're gonna to show you how to make one of my favorite cinnamon roll recipes, pumpkin spice cinnamon rolls. Look how amazing these are. The smell, my whole house, it smells amazing in here. It's like Christmas morning and I just wanna dive right into this pile of cinnamon rolls. That middle one right there, that's mine. No one's getting it. If you've never baked with yeast before and you're nervous about doing it, don't be. I'm gonna show you every single step so that you know you can do it without fail. If you love delicious desserts and easy recipes, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Let's get into the kitchen where I'm gonna show you how to make these easy cinnamon rolls. So when you're at the grocery store looking at yeast, there are a few different kinds that you can buy. My favorite by far is Fleischmann's Rapid Rise Yeast. I love the Rapid Rise more than any of the other kinds of yeast because it makes baking with yeast a lot faster and easier. When you're using rapid rise yeast, you don't have to proof it. All you do is mix it with the dry ingredients and then add your hot liquid to it. The mixing of the dough is what activates the yeast, making it so much easier with a lot less guesswork. All right, the first thing we're gonna do to make our cinnamon rolls is we're gonna mix our dry ingredients, our flour, our yeast, our sugar, and our salt. Whisk that together and add it to a stand mixer that's been fitted with a dough hook. Now I love using my electric mixer for this, but you could use a hand mixer. If you're using an electric stand mixer, I much prefer the dough hook because it makes the job a lot easier. Now we're gonna make the wet ingredients. Mix one and a half cups of water with six tablespoons of butter. We're gonna heat that in the microwave on 30 second increments until the temperature reaches one between 120 and 130 degrees. The best way to determine what the temperature of the water is, is using an instant read thermometer. This is one of those thermometers that as soon as I put it into the hot water, it's gonna tell me what the temperature is. Um, these are easy to come by and I highly recommend getting one because it really, really will help you whenever you're working with yeast. So add the wet ingredients to the mixer along with the dry ingredients along with one egg. I'm gonna beat that at medium speed for two minutes. Started with two cups of flour. Now I'm gonna add one more cup of flour and continue mixing. And I'm gonna continue mixing and adding flour until the dough comes together and forms a ball. I don't wanna add more than five cups of flour, but most likely I'll add between four and a half and five cups. Know that you're done mixing because the dough will be sticky but not wet. Prepare a surface like a wooden cutting board with a sprinkling of flour. Turn your dough out onto the cutting board and now we're going to knead the dough for about six to eight minutes. Kneading is a process where you push the dough in on itself, fold it over and push it again, and you just keep doing that until it forms a cohesive ball that springs back when you touch it. Another thing I love about the Rapid Rise yeast is it only has a 10 minute resting time. At this point, we're gonna cover the dough with a towel and let it rest for 10 minutes. While we're waiting for our dough to rise, we're gonna prepare our filling. Make sure you have some softened butter and then stir together granulated sugar with pumpkin pie spice. That's my secret ingredient in these cinnamon rolls. I'm adding that warm pumpkin spice to this recipe that's gonna take that cinnamon roll to another level. Once the dough is rested for about 10 minutes, go ahead and roll it out to a 15 by 10 inch rectangle. I'm gonna aim for the size of this cutting board. Now it's time to fill our cinnamon rolls. Go ahead and spread that butter all over the cinnamon roll dough and then sprinkle it with the pumpkin pie spice and sugar mixture. To roll up our cinnamon rolls, I'm gonna roll from the long end. Now, if you want really big fat cinnamon rolls and less of them, you could roll it from the short end. But I recommend rolling from the long end to make 12 cinnamon rolls. Roll it up as tight as you can. Now that we have a cinnamon roll log, as I call it, we're gonna divide this into 12 equal pieces to make 12 cinnamon rolls. I discovered a secret hack that's gonna cut your cinnamon rolls perfectly every single time. Dental floss, who knew? Dental floss is perfect for cutting cinnamon rolls. All you need to do is pull out a string of dental floss, slide it underneath the roll of cinnamon rolls, and pull it through. Now I'm gonna cut these in half, and then I'm gonna cut each half into halves, and then cut each quarter into thirds. That's gonna make 12 cinnamon rolls. Go ahead and spray a nine by 13 inch pan with nonstick cooking spray. And we're gonna place all 12 rolls in our pan. 
Now we need to let this rise for a little bit. So go ahead and cover that up with your kitchen towel and let it sit for about an hour until they're doubled in size. After an hour, remove the towel and you'll notice how big and puffy and delicious they look. Now we're gonna bake them at 350 degrees for about 20 to 25 minutes until they're golden brown and cooked through. The frosting is my favorite part. Butter and powdered sugar, vanilla, milk, and pumpkin pie spice. I love adding that extra little bit of pumpkin spice flavor to the frosting. All right, our cinnamon rolls are done. They've cooled a little bit, and now it's time to add the frosting. You guys, you should smell my kitchen. It's amazing. All right, I'm gonna add this frosting onto the top of the cinnamon rolls. And that center cinnamon roll, that one is mine. This tray of cinnamon rolls is like pure heaven. I cannot wait to taste one. That frosting on top, the pumpkin spice, the smell is fantastic. The dough, oh my gosh, I can't wait to taste one. Mm. It's like fall in a bite, but better. You and your family are gonna love these cinnamon rolls. Don't be afraid of baking with yeast. It's really, really easy, especially if you follow my tips. Okay, I'm gonna go try really hard not to eat this entire pan of cinnamon rolls while you watch the next video.